In this video, we are showing you two solutions for mission 14 called Toy Factory for this year's FLL super powered robot game. One with the Spike Prime and one with the EV3. For both of our solutions, we assume that we have already collected three energy units from either the wind turbine, solar farm, or power plant missions. In this mission, points are awarded for up to three energy units that are either partially in the back slot or the red hopper of the toy factory at the end of the match. You also earn points when the small dinosaur toy has rolled down the ramp in the mission model. To solve this mission with our Spike Prime, we have built a simple upside down L-shaped beam attachment that we attach to the base attachment for the advanced driving base. The beam attachment is long enough to reach over the hopper. Up to three energy units can rest on the horizontal beam. This is the same attachment as the one we use for mission 3, energy storage, except that the horizontal beam is located at the very top of the vertical beam. For our Spike Prime solution, we launch our robot from the right launch area and approach the hopper from the east. When the robot is positioned in front of the mission model, it lowers the attachment. Now, the energy units slide off the beam and into the hopper. The first energy unit that falls in releases the mini dinosaur. For our EV3, we have built a hinged attachment with three prongs to loosely hold the energy units. The attachment is long enough to reach over the edge of the hopper. This is the same attachment as the one we have used for Mission 3 Energy Storage. Our EV3 also launches from the right launch area. The robot approaches the toy factory from the southwest. When the robot lowers the attachment over the hopper, the hinged bar with the energy units flips over and the energy units fall off the prongs. The first energy unit that falls into the hopper releases the mini dinosaur. For solving this mission, you earn 5 points for each energy unit that is at least partially in either the back slot or the red hopper at the end of the match. You only get points for up to 3 energy units however. And you have to make sure that none of your energy units touch your equipment at the end. If the mini dinosaur has slid down the ramp, an additional 10 points are scored, for a total of 25 possible points.